Listen, R. Kelly. I don't see nothing wrong. You, we can we can modulate it. I, I don't see nothing wrong. We're keeping your ass away from little boys and girls. Get his ass out of here. Check out my Patreon because we got the freshly baked live stream coming up pretty soon this weekend on there. And of course, we got the podcast that went up, all that stuff. Get into it. Um, but what I'm actually gonna get into today is the fact that they got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. They got him. And it's just so crazy, like tackling this feeling with my like prisons are fucking shitty <laughs> mindset as well. Like, trying to tackle both of those at the same time. But it's just like, at the same time, I'm glad that R. Kelly's out of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm just, listen, so I'm just taking this from like an NBC article. They're saying that he was found guilty on all nine counts, okay? They, they got his ass on all nine counts in this sex trafficking case. Uh, listen to what the judge told his ass uh, U.S. District Judge Ann Dinelli said to him, you were a person who had great advantages, worldwide fame and celebrity and untold money. You took advantage of their hopes and dreams, holding teenagers in your house trapped. You were at the top of your organization and you raped and beat them, separated them from their families and forced them to do unspeakable Things. The article focused on one victim in particular who was in the courtroom. She said, you degraded me, humiliated me, and broke my spirit. I wished I would die because of how you degraded me. You couldn't care less. I avoided your name and your songs and suffocated with fear. What you did left a permanent stain on my life. She was crying as she addressed uh, the court, and she said she spent years believing Kelly uh, would never face justice. She also said, I know there are a lot of R. Kelly fans who don't believe us. And she's 100% right. There are a lot of people who do not believe. And that's why I'm telling y'all, do not be arguing on the internet in person with no R. Kelly apologies, girl. Look, look for them court documents. Look for the evidence. That's all you need. That's literally all you need. Don't be arguing with these fans, these crazy ass delusional ass fans. Don't be arguing with their ass. I think that how R. Kelly's been allowed to get away with this shit for so long, I think that the way that some of his delusional ass fans are treating him right now, it's really just showing us the potential of what can, can happen um, based off of what we do right now. Some of the, some of y'all faves right now, in present day, some of y'all delusional about their ass. Some of y'all delusional about their ass, and the more that people stay delusional about their ass, the more that these people will be empowered to continue abuse, the more they won't be held accountable, the more you, victims gonna rack up. It's just like, don't argue with these delusional people. <laughs> Get his ass out of here so he can't do that shit to nobody else. Give this nigga, give this nigga a, a factory reset. You see what I'm saying? Hold down the power button and the volume down button at the same time and, and hold that shit for five seconds until you see the, the, the screen flash, bitch. He need a factory, hard factory reset. Get this nigga out of here. Get him out of here. Speaking of somebody else that y'all was getting out of here, y'all was about to get Kim <laughs> y'all was, was getting Kimberly Elise out of here. I mean, I've seen somebody put up a meme of when her character <laughs> from Set It Off, uh, when her character was in that car, they had to close her eyes. I'm <laughs> just like, y'all, y'all do too much, bro. Kimberly Ali said, millions of babies will be saved from death by abortion due to the overturning of Roe v. Wade. And she added that hallelujah at the end of it. Nah. Let me tell you something. <laughs> anytime I hear too many hallelujahs, anytime I hear somebody say too many hallelujahs, to me, that's almost like somebody pressed the red button, right? Somebody got the nuclear codes, and that's just to me, right? Anytime I hear too many hallelujahs, I seek cover. I, I literally go to somebody's bunker, bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm in danger. That's that's usually what that means. Um, but yeah, they, they dragged her. <laughs> Y'all dragged her ass. Shit. I need that money. No, you need to stop playing with me, Kimberly. Like, please stop playing with me. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Somebody who needs to stop playing with me as well is Usher. Uh, he did his little tiny desk thing. Of course, his what now. Y'all was dragging when it came to the BT Awards, right? Y'all was dragging. 
uh, some of these men getting on there trying to stay. Let me tell you something. When it comes to these when people like Usher, like the best like that, he still got it. his voice still. His voice is still. His voice is still voicing. Don't play with him. First of all, look at how fine. I'm, Usher is fine as hell. Usher is fine as hell. He sounds good. His smile is amazing. I don't know. He's just fine. He's just fine. Usher. See, some of the some of our faves haven't failed us. Yeah, they haven't failed us. Yeah. Cause I know every time he puts that microphone up to his fucking face, it's gonna sound good. It's gonna it's gonna sound good. I know I bring this up all the time, but I'll never forget when he was singing. He was literally singing climax acapella on his bed, laying down. <laughs> And it sounded amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to stand out really quick. Since I brought up the BET Awards, there was one thing in particular I did not speak about um, when I reviewed the BET Awards. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure you check it out, child. But it was this, Carisha. She had, she was holding up her sign for Diddy. Um, and the sign said, go poppy. Now, I there are rumors. I do not know how true this is. That it, I do not know how true this is. Somebody said that Diddy paying her two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month or some shit. Now we don't need, we don't need to get into the specifics of that shit. We don't need to. We don't know the actual number. Maybe somebody does. I don't know where this is coming from. But like I said, I, I like to differentiate between facts and rumors. I don't know. This is just a rumor. But either way, we know she getting paid something because. She, like, girl, she, is this, she a motherfucking city girl, bitch. Like, are you serious? If that's true, you getting hundreds of thousands of dollars a goddamn month, two hundred fifty dollars Bitch, I hold that sign, too. I hold it up. Uh, JT was trying to get her and sit her ass down. I don't give a fuck what you hoes talking about. I will bedazzle that sign. And I will be I will be courtside. Out of 250 I will be courtside. I made the observation. I was just like, P. Diddy is probably giving uh, Carisha a, a, a lot of his artist's royalty. That's why I tweeted. I was like, imagine, imagine being signed to Diddy and watching him give your royalties to Carissa to, to throw out in the club. <laughs> get me off the planet, get me off the planet. Get me off the planet. We'll quickly talk about politics and end it. Nothing too crazy. Um, first of all, I don't know what's going on with these hearings. Somebody, some ex Trump staffer or something went up there and started spilling the beans about how Trump was tossing plates at people, tossing plates at staff, <laughs> tossing breaking dishes and shit, trying to grab at these drivers and choke them out because he wanted to go to the Capitol and not someplace safe when during January 6th. I don't see what the point of these hearings are. I just don't get it because it's like, if January 6th had been successful, these same staffers and aides and all this stuff would be right up underneath Trump's asshole still. The, the second thing is like, y'all knew who this man was while he was running for president and you still decided to work for him. And you worked for him while he was disrespecting y'all, throwing plates in y'all faces, trying to choke y'all out. Y'all still work for him for the sake of y'all political career, for the sake of political power. Doesn't matter who's shitting on the Oval Office floor. Y'all will continue to, to, to support their ass while they lie to the American people and bulldoze the American people shit on them. You will continue to do that shit. And y'all, y'all were doing that even as y'all had to clean off, catch up off the walls. Y'all don't feel like babysitters? Y'all don't feel like loyal dogs? And now I'm supposed to, what, am I, am I supposed to feel sorry for their ass while they over here in these hearings? With these, oh, you Trump threw a dish at me and Trump threw a dish at Stavros. And y'all knew that and y'all continued to support his ass. I'm not fucking moved by this shit. Diddy Kuo is this, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, is the Associate Director for Research and Senior Research Scholar at Stanford's Center on Democracy Development and the Rule of Law. She says, fortunately, the January 6 hearings have the potential to move the needle on public perceptions of President Trump's culpability. Most Americans feel that democracy is in chaos and most Americans oppose the violence on January 6. Mobilizing support for holding President Trump accountable can go a long way toward restoring democratic principles. So to me, and I could be wrong, somebody who knows what they talking about, let me know, but to me, what that sound like, is this is a bunch of bullshit, but hopefully we can make something shake in the public in public perception. That's what it gives it gives me, and I'm just like, when does public perception? Um, Hillary Clinton won the popular. What what are you talking? About? I don't know. Like public perception versus we already know that DC has proven that they ain't gonna fucking do anything to this man. So I'm just like, what's the point? I could be wrong. I you know I I don't understand what I don't understand what the T is. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> like. 
they're just making his base even more horny. And they're gonna be like, oh my god, they're, they're biased against him. Like, that's what his base going I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody let me know. And also, real quick, real quick, you wanna see the the one of the latest things the Supreme Court done did. So the Associated Press says this, in a blow to the fight against uh, climate change, the Supreme Court on Thursday limited how the nation's main anti-air pollution law can be used to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from power plants. So it says, by a six to three vote with conservatives being in the majority, the court said that the Clean Air Act does not give the EPA broad authority to regulate greenhouse gas emissions from power plants that contribute to global warming. They say, hey, guess what? We're all cooking in this bitch. You know, I forget what specific scenario it was where you just turn the heat up slowly and slowly and whatever you're cooking don't realize that they cooked until they fucking cooked. <laughs> That's us. That's us. And we're gonna, we're gonna be like, every, every summer we're gonna be like, damn, it's getting hot. Did it always used to be 105 degrees? <laughs> Damn, it's getting, did it always used to be 120 degrees uh, out here? Damn, what's going on? Bitch, just, you know, evaporating. So I'm starting to literally evaporating our skin up. <laughs> I hate it here, bro. I like, this, this is, these people are crazy, okay? On that note, love y'all so much. Hope you have a great end to your week. Make sure that you check me out. Patreon, my other YouTube channel, all that stuff. Links are in the description. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. I'm a real bitch. These hoes knock off. You want my dick? So bitch, hop off.